So this is how my first Matt Esley knife started out as an impossible dovetail that I glued together. I then turned it and out of it came this knife. Uh, looks great, really liked it, but essentially what I'd done was glue two pieces of wood end grain to end grain and the uh, dovetails just made it even more fragile and inevitably it broke. Version two was needed pretty quickly, so I turned some curly maple, dyed it, but um, it's been on there a long time now, it's worn out. New handle needed. I started off by uh, gently removing the old handle on the lathe. Didn't really think too much about this, but uh, wish I had put some kind of protection around the brass. As you can see here, it's now giving me more work. So I'm having to start with a file bit more brutal than I wanted to be. I just worked my way up the grips on these uh, micro pads and I believe the final one, it, um, the pink one, is up to 12,000 grips. So it got, it got the ferrule to a condition that I'll be happy with because it is essentially just going to be used again as a knife. I found a curly maple off cut, machined it up in my usual way, but for this I wanted to stabilise it with resin. Uh, so I had some very, very out of date cactus juice, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. I stained it as black as I could get it, put the uh, knife scales into there, weighed it down, and then filled it up way past the top of the, uh, the wood. And then put it in the vacuum. It was actually in there for about three or four days. Once I removed it, I laid it out onto this uh, baking rack, just to let the uh, any excess resin drip out, and then it was over to the oven. Uh, it was in there for two hours, around about 90 degrees centigrade. I could see from these ones that, that it wasn't as dark as I'd want it to be all the way through but I'll deal with that later on. I then started working with some brass. Metal isn't something I usually use a lot of but I really would like to incorporate it more. So for this one I thought I'd start myself off gently. I'd done a practice run and tried to uh, glue some brass to some wood using some epoxy and it really didn't stick well at all. I did some research, um, I drilled some holes through the brass and the research that I found said use some CA, some cyanoacrylate. That's what I've done and it worked really well. I then glued the ferrule in place. It was important that the brass inlay actually lined up with the blade itself so I spent a little bit of time now just lining it up and clamped it. I drilled some holes to put some pins through the scales themselves just to give it a little extra support and I think it looked really nice as well. Glued the pins in with uh, CA glue as well quite straightforward left them to go off then for about 24 hours properly before I then mounted it on the lathe. Now, obviously I turn wood on my wood lathe at home, but this has got metal in it, so I knew that I was gonna to have to uh, turn it on the metal lathe, the engineering lathe we've got here. Um, these aren't expensive. You can get these for a couple of hundred quid, second hand ones that are in really good condition. And it, 
it's opened this door for me. So I'm learning to use it here, but I'm taking lots of gentle passes. I haven't shown it here, but at one point I took too deep a pass and it pulled it off the lathe. So here I'm just taking my time, taking it back slowly until it was the same diameter as the ferrule. Once I reach the correct diameter, I switch to the paper. The slow speed of these lathes means there's actually not a great deal of dust kicking up, which is actually quite nice. I started off on the uh, coarser grits and then worked my way up to 500 in the end. But as I mentioned earlier, the coloured resin hadn't gone all the way through, so I knew I was going to have to stain it again at the end, so I used this uh, spirit stain goes on really easily, really evenly. Just gave it a quick wipe over with the lathe running and it's really, really great colour. Gave it a coating of microcrystalline wax and then let that harden for half an hour or so. And uh, knowing the dangers of an engineering lathe, I uh, use a very small piece of cloth to, uh, to buff the, the wax up to a nice shine. You might notice there that in the, the jaws I've actually used some brass soft jaws to make sure I didn't, well, to hope I didn't mark the brass ferrule this time. So here I'm just picking off the one layer of masking tape I'd put there, um, taking it off now, giving it a clean up and inspecting the ferrule. And it's uh, it's come out clean. I haven't marked it, so I'm really pleased with that. Just taking a fresh blade in there. These are great, these blades. Really good for dovetailing. You get deep down in the dovetail mark them out so here we have the final knife really pleased with this one i think this one will last a lot longer let me know what you think leave me a comment and i'd really really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button it really really helped me and help me build this channel see you soon